What is going on everybody, Weedle Smeedle here, and before we get into the battle, I just want to announce that the Chinese Vic Volt giveaway winner is actually someone with the name of Lent Scope. So if you are watching this video, my man, um, definitely leave a comment. If you don't um, reply in three days, I'm going to actually re-roll um, and see who wins it, because this was actually just completely random. I put everyone's name <laughs> into a random generator, and uh, it was... This guy's name popped up, so uh, yeah, congratulations, man. Um, comment on the video or, with your friend code and stuff, or message me on my Discord server or on Discord, and we can set something up. But let's just get right into the battle. What is going on, everybody? Weedle Tmeedle here, and we are backing in with another Sun and Moon Wi Fi battle, and this one's gonna be against Amanda. Now, looking at her team, just when I thought the meta couldn't get any worse, the first Pokebank battle I have. The first Pokebank battle I have. Wow. I don't even want to talk about her team. Let's just look at my amazing team. I have Ariados, the epic sticky web set upper. Slack King Harambe, the god himself. I have Kofarigus to synergize with Slack King. My legit shiny Chatot, which is pretty cool. I'm not giving that one away, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. I have Z-Move Duran and uh, Assault Vest Milotic. Actually, I don't think it's a salt bust. I think I gave it an adrenaline orb, as I'll explain why later in the battle why I gave it that. So yeah, my opponent seems looking very threatening. Um, I'm expecting her to lead with Rotom Wash or Landorus T, because that's what everybody leads with. Like, honestly, from what I've learned from X and Y and Sun and, and uh, Oros, is that everybody leads with Rotom Wash. It's literally what everybody does. So, challenged by Amanda, she's going to lead off with her Rotom Wash, as I'm going to be leading off with my Elise, my Area Dose. Now, turn one, I figured she'd just go for the Volt Switch just to break my Focus Ash. I don't think she would uh, have any reason to stay in here, as she's just going to Volt Switch out into her Charizard. Now, I'm here. I kind of assumed that the Charizard was Charizard X, just because, well I guess there's no way I could tell, I just kind of like half guessed it looking at her team, um, I just thought it would be Charizard X, because Superior usually is a uh, synergizes well with Charizard X, because it deals with the bulky waters and grass types that Charizard X can't beat, so I figured it was Charizard X, which I was right in that assumption, as I'm going to bring Gopharagus here, and I'm going to take the attack rather well, as I'm going to give the Charizard X Mummy. This is all going according to plan, because now my eject button is going to activate, which is going to force me to switch out, as now I can bring in Harambe, the slacking, and now my opponent realizes that I can just knock her out with Earthquake, so she's going to choose to switch out. I predict the switch, go for the pursuit, just so I can gain the mummy ability, so now my slacking is no longer stuck with Truant, and now I can uh, go for another move the following turn and not be fucked by Truant, which is uh, pretty nice, that's the entire strategy, and I'm really happy that it actually worked out that nicely, so... Gonna go for the Ice Punch on the Landers T. It's not gonna one shot because Landers T is very balanced. But um, he, she's just gonna get up her Stealth Rocks. As um, that's unfortunate for my team because I do have uh, three things weak to Stealth Rocks because it isn't a battle of mine unless I have at least three Pokemon weak to Stealth Rocks and I just don't bring Stealth Rocks of my own. So here, I go for a little bit of a, B, of a B on Pursuit just because I knew the Landers T was probably gonna switch out. As now she's just gonna bring in a Rotom Wash. And here I go for the facade just because I want her to know the mistakes were made before she even clicks will o -Wisp. So she actually is going to will o -Wisp my uh, slacking as now. The way facade works is that if you are burned, it actually ignores the burn attack lower and it increases the facade base power to 140. So right now it's like I have a normal attack slacking with 140 base power stab, which is a uh, pretty scary to say the least. So she's going to bring in her Landers T and just get another Intimidate as I'm just going to go for the facade and knock out the Landers T. So um... Yeah, at least that annoying ass AIDS Pokemon is dead, and uh, Harambe is actually looking pretty threatening right now. She's actually just going to bring in her Tapu Fini. Um, since I'm at minus two, I'm not really feeling like I should stay in here. I mean, I do have my mummy set up, but I feel like since I'm at minus two attack, it's just going to not really work out too great. So I'm going to choose to switch out my Harambe and bring in Elise, the Ariados, as the uh, Tapu Fini unfortunately is going to miss Nature's Madness. Now, um, this goes... To more than just unfortunate guys, um, <laughs> this Tapu or Tapu Fini. This is the first Hydro Pump on my Ariados, and I kind of felt bad. I was just trying to sack off my Ariados to begin with, and unfortunately, my opponent missed uh, her Hydro Pump. So I'm actually gonna go for the Sticky Web here just to make up for it. As she misses her second Hydro Pump, and I'm like, Jesus, dude, how unlucky! And so obviously, I could have just Poison Jabbed her again and killed her, but I honestly felt bad about it. So I go for the Mega Horn just to nullify the leftover recovery. As she misses another Hydro Pump, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude, I could be setting up Toxic Spikes right now, or I could have killed you. At this point, I'm debating on putting this Tapu Leda out of its misery. Here she misses her fourth Hydro Pump, and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> it 
I'm sorry, in the battle, I was dying. I was absolutely, like, rolling on the floor laughing. Like, I was actually, like, wow. Here she misses her fifth hydro pump in a row. <laughs> and at this point, I'm just like, maybe I should just put this Tapu Fini out of its misery, but I'll give it one more turn. <laughs> I miss Megahorn here as she finally connects the hydro pump. <laughs> Only took six bloody tries but she connected it so um i would have been a little bit salty if i was my opponent but honestly i would have probably been dying <laughs> alongside me i probably would have been like laughing like this is why i don't use broken pokemon i deserve this <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go for the boom burst onto the top of Fini and knock her out it may seem kind of ironic that i felt bad for her considering she has like the most try her team in existence but it's just kind of funny that uh <laughs> <laughs> she missed five consecutive hydro pumps after missing the nature's madness so she missed six moves in a freaking row so um down goes my coco my chat eye as i'm currently my bird um i need my chat after coco he's currently singing in the background so if you do hear him i do apologize but i cannot shut him up because he does not shut up so i'm gonna try to talk over him but it's not gonna work out because he's a loud ass fucking bird so i'm gonna bring it harambe and gonna go for the facade under the top of Lele and one shot it. Thankfully, this eighth Pokemon cannot do anything to my team because stick you up, so thankfully that Pokemon is dead. So sick of that mod. As now, she's gonna bring in Charizard, realizing that I am um, stuck because True Run, I do have True Run once again, so now I cannot go for facade. So I'm gonna choose to switch out and bring Pofagus just because I wanna sack it off and get rid of the uh, Tough Claws because if the Tough Claws are gone, that means that uh, Slacking can most likely take an attack. So, um, Charizard X is gonna go for DD, as now I'm just gonna sack Microfagus, try to attack over my fucking bird, but it's not quite working. Um, I'm really trying, and I'm staring at him, hoping that he just stops screaming, so I don't have to re-narrate this. But chances are I'm gonna have to re-narrate this, because my bird's fucking annoying, and this is why I can't narrate during the day. Anyway, I'm gonna bring in Harambe, my, uh, slacking, as now I'm just gonna fire off the facade, and, uh, my bird's trying to talk over me right now, but it's not gonna work. I'm gonna go for the facade, get rid of Mummy, and now Harambe does have Mummy, and now the destruction begins. So, um, Misty Terrain does, or Psychic Terrain does disappear off the battlefield, as now in comes Superior, and I'm kind of hoping that, you know, Harambe can just win this game. Unfortunately, Sticky Web does work against me here, as, uh, the, uh, it's gonna give Superior a speed boost, but it's not really a big deal. She's gonna hit her Leaf Storm, as unfortunately, uh, the facade actually leaves superior with like 3 HP, so like, yeah, no, it's at plus 2 special attack, and that could still potentially lose, even after Harambe absolutely put in the work, like, superior's a balanced Pokemon that just wins late game by clicking its staff moves and getting, um, special attack boosts off it. Don't know how Game Freak thought this was a balanced, um, mechanic, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm kind of hoping that, uh, I gotta rely on the fact that the superior misses, uh, Leaf Storm, as, you know... Like my luck in this battle's bad, I just, you know, she misses the least storm, and I just ice beam and knock out her um, superior, as her last is Rotom Wash. She can still win with Rotom Wash, but uh, I actually do have Mirror Coat, so I'm just going to secure the victory here by going for the uh, Mirror Coat onto the Rotom Wash and knock him out. So, um, should I have lost this battle? Most likely, but I take these W's when I get them, alright? Against this kind of team, I'm not even mad. Like, if my opponent was mad about losing that game, you honestly shouldn't be. I would have been laughing my ass off if I was in my opponent's position. But that's going to be the battle, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, likes and comments are cherished as always. And the question of the day is going to be, what was your first shiny Pokemon you've ever encountered in uh, Pokemon in general? And my first shiny I've ever encountered was a shiny Spearow and Leaf Green when I was like nine years old. I had no idea what the shiny meant. I, I mean, I, I had no idea what the sparkle meant. I'm just like, oh, this thing looks cool. I'm going to catch it. And I still have it in my Leaf Green game. I just don't know where the Leaf Green game is. I've lost it in, you know, the past. So I just don't have the shiny spear anymore. It feels bad, man. But that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll check you guys in my next video. All right? Peace.